Hi, my wonderful artist. Um, we're here to talk about the element of art space. We're gonna be using negative and positive space to make a beautiful leaf picture today. Um, your supplies today are, I have attached a copy of this paper. Um, you don't have to use this paper. You could find any leaf. You could even use a leaf from outdoors if you want to. You could print your own. You could draw your own. It doesn't matter, but you need a leaf. Um, you need a black sheet of paper and you need chalk. This is chalk. You could use any sort of chalk, a sidewalk chalk. It doesn't matter. It does get a little messy, so be careful of where you're sitting. You can do this outside. The weather is really beautiful right now, but you don't want to touch your face and your, your clothes a lot once you start this. So you want to make sure you're near a sink. You need scissors and I have a paper towel here just to keep my hands a little cleaner, and you need a glue stick for the end of the activity. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need that leaf. Again, like I said, you could use a leaf from outside. Um, I'm going to cut this one. You just need one leaf, and you don't want it too big. You want it about probably a fourth of the size of your paper, which means it sits in about the corner of it. I'm gonna cut it all the way out okay i'm going to pause the video you guys take your time find a leaf cut your leaf out draw your leaf and cut it whatever you want to do and i'll be back all right artist i'm back there's my leaf it's cut out um what you're going to do is you're going to want to hold it in about the top corner you can do either corner if you like this one better but the top corner you want to leave a little space all the way around it because we're going to use um, our leaf to make our negative space and around it is going to be our positive space where our colors are. All right, so your chalk, you want fall colors. If you don't have fall colors, use whatever colors you have. But I have some fall colors, so I'm going to have some orange. I got different shades of orange, um, some yellow, maybe a little bit of white because I'm using black paper, maybe a little bit of green and some red. I also have some brown, so I'll take some brown out too. All right. Now, ooh, look, I already got it all over my paper. I see chalk is very messy. All right, so I'm gonna flip my paper over. There we go, nice clean paper. All right, so what I wanna do is I'm going to hold my leaf here the whole time. Now, you can use a piece of tape and tape it down, but we're gonna to wanna to take this leaf off so you don't wanna rip your paper. Um, parents, you could help hold the leaf down for your kiddo. My students were able to do it, so I think you guys could handle it. But you wanna hold this paper, this leaf down, the whole entire time. You don't want to lift it at all until you're totally done. And when you're done, you'll see how cool it looks. So you're just going to take your chalk. You're going to draw on the leaf and off the leaf. If you see, I'm going like to the middle of the leaf and then off of it. And then I'm going to use my finger. This is the messy part to, um, to, sh um, to spread it around. I can combine colors. If we go like this again i'm going on the leaf and off the leaf my chalk keeps rolling away all right i'm going to keep going all the way around again hold that leaf as good as you can be very strong all right use that finger spread it around i think my table is not balanced guys because my chalk keeps rolling away see oh my all right and then keep going all the way around I'll stay on with you the whole time today. I won't pause it anymore. Feel free to start working. Again, watch myself hold her leaf the whole time. I'm not moving it, not letting it go. Keep holding it, keep holding it. Feel free to turn your paper like Miss Elliot is. A little bit of yellow, some more red. I really like this orange. Let's do some more orange, some dark orange. All right, a little bit. I haven't used my brown yet, so we'll end with brown. All right. Look at it. All right. Once you're all the way around your leaf, take your time. You can add some more color onto your leaf. If you see, I got a couple blank spaces, so I'll just go with my finger because my finger still has chalk on it. All right, and you're gonna lift up your leaf and find that negative space. Oh, it's not so cool, that reveal is so cool. There's my leaf in the middle of the paper and it's negative space because there's no color there. Now we're gonna use, because we made this leaf so beautiful, we're going to glue it onto the bottom of my paper like it fell right from that little spot. So put some glue on it. Glue it to the bottom of your paper and you can make a little tiny 
little tiny swirl saying there my leaf fell from there to the bottom because we have this cool chalk you could sign your name parents they could put the date on it if you want to keep it because I think this one is absolutely beautiful this was one of my favorite ones we've done so far feel free to do more feel free to do some chalk outside if that didn't take you very long and feel free to enjoy your artwork bye guys